Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So today we will start by getting rid of this Torvaborg company so that we can finish our current contract, a return to Asim Shab, and then I want to go to Quadim as soon as possible. We will see what you find there, maybe some more contracts for the Holy War, if not, then I think I'll just head north and do some more exploring. Uh, let me quickly check to make sure that the people who are going into the fight are ready. Yep, everything looks good. Do we want to fight them in the hills or do we want to go south? Maybe let's just try to go south and find them here. Uh, Mino fills out and you rush the walls. Right across the field is a contingent of heavy armored northerners. Perhaps they have learned uh, that is the Atsientem standing before them and they wish to take the matter uh, a mite more seriously. Not that extra caution will save them. There is only one result of facing down the Atsientem and you can't help but offer an invitation. Invita not invita inviting Gren at the approaching assault. Okay, the previous fight was really easy, much easier than I expected, so this I expect to be more or less the same thing. I learned that I can only move one tile, so actually do we want to do it? I like that we can create the pocket here, so maybe we'll just stay where we are and let them come to us. Our archers definitely want to wait. Uh, I don't think we're, we're going to need the gun on the first turn. Yeah, these guys we have to be careful about. Um, there are four of them, maybe even more. So those are probably the priority targets for the archers. Plus, of course, if there, I don't, I don't remember if there are any arbalisters or not. Okay, Archer, so we can't reach this one. Can't really reach many of them. Uh, what's my chance of hitting this guy? I think I'll actually try to get rid of the guys with the hammers. Um, hmm. Nope. Okay, that's just the crossbowman. There is one on the buster. Okay, so that's the priority. And he's not in cover. So that should. Oh no, I thought that'd be enough. Well, this was enough. Uh, there is a crossbowman that we can't reach, and there is one that can reach. There we go. Maybe finish him off with a bit of luck. There we go. Hit this guy. Good. Oh, really? We can't even destroy the armor with one hit? Okay. I'll well, just do it this way. Wait. Uh, you should... How the hell is it possible we, can one... we can't one-shot dogs? That's a little bit better. That's fine. I actually didn't want to kill him. Until... I'm certain that this guy is disarmed, and now we can switch, finish him off. Oh, this guy could be a problem. Wow. Wait. That's a nice guy.
Ah, oh, sure, let's do one more. Wait. Okay, archers. Horrible. What the hell is going on? It shouldn't be that difficult to hit. That's good. I was hoping that I would have enough movement to step back. Mm. Just wait. Okay, so far so good. Do you want to disarm anyone? I'll just wait. Ah, oh, come on. Probably should have attacked first. Now let's disarm this one. Wait. Oh, that was a nice hit here. If I move here, then I'll probably get hit by split, so let's not do that. And he is unfortunately faster, so this might hurt. Nope. Horrible shooting. What the hell is going on? And that was surprisingly low damage. Just <clears throat> shut up, honestly. I want to say that should be a kill, but of course it's not. Uh, we still can kill them though. Yeah, that was definitely worth it. Now, you panic already. So let's try something here. Good enough. The overwhelm sticks here. Kill him. And I would like to catch all of them if possible. Not enough. Let's go with aim shots. Come on, why was it so little damage? I'm really not sure if I am fast enough. Catch the last guy. Well, 
Maybe from here I'll be close enough. There we go. Okay, level up at least one. And what do we want from them? Uh, can we take everything? We might actually have enough room in the inventory. Uh, nope. It doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of that. How much are these? Nah, whatever. The Atsenta are almost starting to look like the man they were when you first hired them. Downtrodden, beaten by the world. Not really, but all this time the company has made them better men. Despite the exhaustion, there is no tiring out, uh, out training. There is no wearing down prestige. There is no taxing renown. Uh, when it comes, the Atsenta will be ready for the next assault. Really? Another one? Okay. Didn't expect that. Where is the last? There is... The... Oh, well, last. You'll see if that's the last one. I expected this one to be the last one. What are we facing here? Um, quite a lot of ranged guys. How much time do we have? It's morning, basically, so we can wait for them. Or I could try to attack them in the open field. I mean, why not? Okay, come to me. There we go. Uh, I probably accidentally skipped some some of the the reading, but whatever. Uh, I hope our weapons actually hold. We should be around fifty percent, though. It should be fine. Uh, how are we doing here? That's heavy. No, no heavy crossbows. This medium crossbows. I don't see any arbalists, but there are definitely more behind them. Maybe I should have stayed in the in the fort. Okay. Well, let's see. There's one guy who may have the the arbalist. That's fine. Wait. So private target is here. The guy with the where is he here with the pole hammer? You don't think about moving forward. Trying to get rid of this one. You'll stay where you are. There we go. Step back. Wait. There's the knight who doesn't have anything interesting, really. Do you want to disarm anyone? No, you don't have to. Okay, archers. Let's go with aim shot. I need to get rid of this one. It's by far the most dangerous. There we go. What's my chance here? 54? I think 54 is... Well, I want to say 54 is good enough, but... Considering how bad the shooting was last time, maybe 54 is not enough. About 57 here. That's, well, that's a little bit better. We managed to hit, but we did no damage. Wait. Um, hmm. What do we want to attack here? I'd like to get rid of the crossbowmen, so I guess I'll just wait. <laughs> Ow.
Mm, this looks fine. Should have been a kill. Now, we definitely want to disarm this one, and if we could kill the other one, that would be great. Almost. I think our arches are faster, so they should be able to finish them off. Oops. Whoops, that didn't work. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. This would be one, two, three, four, five. This would be one, two, three, four. Nice hit. Come on, come on, that was horrible. And you should be able to kill this one, right? Eventually. Now, let's attack him, fail, of course, and step back. I don't want to end up in a fight like 3v1 with uh, the knight being part of it. That's a dead uh, crossbow man. It's another dead crossbowman, and that's uh, that's an injured crossbowman. Good. Might be able to finish off this one. Well, not even close. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what's next? This guy, unprotected. There's one more crossbow? I didn't see him. Should have been a kill. Okay, now the knight will hopefully move here. I just need to get through the sergeant as soon as possible. Or I can move one archer forward to have some overwhelm stacks. 50%. Uh, Let's go with the AoE. Good. 47, 57. Nope. Finish him off and start moving. Oh, there is another one, damn it. I could try to keep the knight disarmed. Nope. That was good. I think I'm gonna leave this one. Focus on the sergeant. Nice. Now, please, could you finally kill someone? Thank you. This is what? This is four? No, three. This is four. And we actually managed to kill one of them. Let's try here now. This one is the... Actually, no, these two are also not locked in combat. Uh, this one moves first, so let's get rid of him. Okay, 
he panicked. So now we should be able to lock all of them. Make sure that kill everyone. Do we want to stab the knight? Our assassin is on the other side, so before we get there, he would do just too much damage. Let's kill him. They're not really interested in the gear. Good. And try to disarm him, finally. Uh, definitely want to finish them off. Hoping you won't hit the helmet. Okay, two two more levels, and this is gonna be interesting. So, what do we don't need? Definitely don't need that. We don't need that. Guess we don't need that. How much are these? Two hundred. And what do we want to take? Tools and supplies, the expensive armor, expensive helmets, at least this sword is worth it, probably these two as well. How much room do we still have? Well, quite a lot. much is this? Crossbows are worth something. Uh, three more items. Oh, these are worth 450. Well, <clears throat> It's not a huge difference because you're gonna be selling it for like 20% of the price. So in the end, the difference between something that's worth like 300 and 450 is like 10 gold. Maybe I should have taken 50 gold. That would, be, would have been probably better than what we get for for some of the items that I took. But whatever. Uh, corpses litter the field, sometimes piled three or four high. The men of the Atsiantium walk between the bodies and loot what they can. Joining their looting are crows, buzzards, rats, mice, cats, roaming dogs, a wolf in the desert, probably not, a wild man who is too dangerous to approach, and a flock of geese who apparently found the spot warm enough to stop a seasonal migration. The vizier's men are uh, also here and taking over, so yourself will need to migrate back to Harad Aldani, the grand vizier, for your pay. Well, that was easy. Can we go this way? I'd like to know if there is anything interesting on this island. Nope. I hope that the Northerners will send something a little bit more I don't know, challenging, because this was too easy. I almost regret joining the South, because fighting the Southern armies, the really strong Southern armies, is much more fun than fighting 
what the north uh, just sent. So I hope there'll be something better. Oh, what is this? Public executions. Abandoned food and drink. But they have ambushed trade routes, so probably still nothing. Uh, can we craft something? No. How much was that armor? Oh, this is the best uh, southern armor there is. Come on. Nope. Okay, how much can we get for the loot? Do we have anything to judge the prices on? I have no idea. We don't have any valuables. Uh, actually, it doesn't seem that bad. Now, let's just sell everything. Or almost everything. What do you want to keep? I might actually want to keep this one. I want to keep weapons for the fight with the Ichirok in the north. Uh, we don't want these. We don't want that. We don't want that. Do we have another hammer? We do. This one is in much better shape. And I have a feeling we'll find more before this crisis is over. So let's sell the damaged one, or the heavily damaged one. Same with the bill hooks. You're gonna only keep anything, let's say above 70-ish percent. How many do we need? We have one, two, three, four, five. I think like three more. Do you want to keep the helmet? Would that be an upgrade for anyone? We have someone, I think, with 250 point helmet. Or... I might have replaced it recently. This, Rupert. Seventeen two, and the other one. That's what it's three hundred twenty. Let's sell that. I'm gonna keep this one in the reserve. Cool, level ups. One, two, three. It's actually surprising that the company is in such a bad mood. I would expect everyone to be really happy. Most of them are just content. Uh, whatever. So what do we need? Some of these. It's actually quite expensive, but just in case we don't get any in Quadim, I'm gonna buy everything that we need, or as much as possible. A little bit of food. And that's it. Also ambush trade routes. Do they always have ambush trade routes? Hmm. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hmm. Well, let's check the contract. And download skills people. I don't think. Actually! Want to kill some hyenas because we need an armor attachment. But it's only. 33% 30, chance. It could be snakes, it could be. Uh, Ifrits or whatever those stony things are called. Yeah, I think I'll pass. That's, this is a little bit disappointing. Uh, we're gonna buy some more food. That well, it doesn't really matter. Just whatever. 300 is enough for 8 days. That should be enough. I don't want to stay outside for too long. I would like to rejoin the fighting once we get some quests, of course, for it, and we can spend a week exploring. So let's go this way. Uh, the vizier has made a rare appearance for the plebs of his land. What the hell? Oh, this is just war is upon us. Thank you for telling me. I wouldn't have known. Okay. Just random event, nothing really that important. Why can't I go this way? There we go. The pathing is sometimes quite weird. Hmm. I should probably be clearing even these small ruins. But... Uh, hello, what is this? I am interested. It looks like hyenas, maybe. Nope, not hyenas. Yeah, we are too far north, not in the desert anymore. So we want to head north of this mountain range. We could maybe kill some goblins first. Just do one goblin fight. We have to do four, but I can't just do four in a row. That is too much. For oh, and we have some skeletons along the way as well. So let's start with skeletons. Or if I start with skeletons, I'm thinking it would be easier for switching people around, but. <clears throat> I'll have to switch twice no matter what I do, so might as well do it now. Uh, we can take you. Now, Ripper, do we have all of the gear fixed? So this is fixed. This is fixed. Make sure that I don't forget that I have the new armor. This is probably going to be in the reserve. I don't think we need this anymore, so I should probably sell this thing now. I don't want to carry too many items around that I'm not using. Already I have way too many items in the inventory. Half of the inventory is filled with garbage. So you will join, you will join, you will join, and we are at 12. Anyone else? We want to have two tanks. Uh, where is the crowd control? Here. So that's the center. One, two, three. Hmm. 
you'll be staying you can probably stay here as well so this side is going to be a little bit weaker that's fine let's go no priests no vampires so that means everyone can just end the turn now quite a few obstacles so most of them are probably going to be coming uh, on one side and that the side that is weaker or maybe not Yeah, it, uh, actually, these are um, this is impassable terrain as well. I thought that this was just an open, uh, open path for them. It's not. This is great. It makes it uh, much more difficult for the pikemen to get through. <clears throat> With a bit of luck, we might be able to destroy most of the front line before the pikemen get in the range. This also means that the front line comes first and uh, is ready to do its job. So uh, we need a little bit of flag to break through. I expected the pikemen to be delayed maybe a little bit more than this. Okay, I think I'll just try to soften up this one and jump back i can't have hilderic exposed on the flank hit him that's good now this guy will hopefully die with his shield intact so far so good you're gonna stay for now how do we do this try to break through this one i think Nice. They're done with their movement, right? Do I want to move? Probably not. Nice. Oh. I can't disarm anything. I would have to move here. Maybe I will just disarm something. Okay, so some of the some of the frontliners are dead. How many are left? One, two, three. Oh, way too many still. Okay, break the shield. Wait. Break his shield. Try to do some damage. I could go here, I think, at this point. Kill him, kill him, good. You're gonna wait. Now here, oh, I guess, even though I can't reach any of the pikemen, I'm gonna move forward. I thought that this would be really bad for their pikemen, but it's actually <clears throat> really good, because at least for this turn, I'll be busy with the front line, plus the... The underguards are coming as well, so the pikemen will probably get like four attacks, oh, maybe not four, like three attacks. Wait. Okay, at least one is down. Now, I can't actually get out of here. I can disarm, well, I can reach this one. Not disarm this one. Wait. Ow. Ow. Uh, 
That's fine. How many are there? Not nine? That's good. And now, do we want to move? Because this tile is really exposed. This is a pikeman, so it could be one, two, three, four pikemen attacking the tile, plus these three. Uh, I'm not sure that I like that. Yeah, let's just stay here. Oh, nice. That was a one shot on the other guard. Horrible. This is really not Hilderic's day. He failed like 80% at least of his attacks. Kill him. Nope. Let's try again. There we go. Could lock these two in place. Uh, probably will. Nice. Wait. Oh, there was another one shot on our guard. At least they're not hitting too many attacks. They're hitting some, but it's not the end of the world. Can we... This is a really good place for a taunting. Oh, that's... That's a little too much damage at this point. Who are you? Come on! It's not like someone is in danger really, but we will have to repair the damage. Sure that I want to move, but I probably should. Even against the pike, but he can't hit. Damn it. Okay, taunt him. Maybe even step forward. Try to kill this one. Nope. So that's three already that survived from like zero hit points. And now they will all hit. I think I just finished fixing this armor and it's down to 40% again. Uh, which one is this? Two, three, four, that's too far. Come on, really? If it was the last fight before we returned to the city, it would be like, whatever. But since this is the first fight, this could really delay everything. Maybe that wasn't the smartest move. Uh, yeah, because I probably can't kill this one before he attacks. If he hits Grimwald again, that's gonna suck. Okay, well, 
it's not the best result. We're probably taking more damage than we should. Oh, on the other hand, the pikemen managed to attack like three or four times, so maybe this is, the damage is what it should have been. Could have even could have been worse even. Uh, didn't get anything interesting out of it. That's unfortunate. Oh, this looks interesting. Let's have a look around. And I think we're going to leave the fight for the next episode. We're going to start with it. What is this? Goblins. Yeah, and I'll have to think a little bit about what uh, team do I want to take for this fight. Good thing is that all three of the champions are skirmishers. So I don't really mind skirmishers, skirmisher champions that much. Ambusher champions, <clears throat> excuse me, are much worse. on a hill, so that could be annoying. But I think it will be fine. There are actually not that many of them. It looks like there is a, there is uh, so many, but um, it's only three champions. Then some ambushers. That's four to six. Lots of skirmishers is what seven to nine, something like that. And uh, some wolf riders again, four to six. This actually for goblins. This is not that many. This might be, what, uh, 12, 16, this will be around 20, might even be less than 20 if we get lucky. Okay, so this is the first fight of the next episode, and then we'll be heading this way, all the way to the statue, back to Quadim, and we'll see if we get some more contracts for the war. If not, then I might go to Rasanan. Because since we already joined the fighting, then may as well go all in and end it as soon as possible. Make sure that the south wins. But uh, for today we are done. So I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. Now until then, have a good time. Bye bye.